Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful day for some kayak fishing. So today I'm on a popular Minnesota lake for walleye and trout. I'm going to try for some smallmouth bass, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much all I brought with today was my bass gear. This is the third lake I've stopped at today, so I should come out here and try for some trout sometime, but yeah, I don't really know the first thing about trout fishing, so I'll have to do a little bit of research before I try that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to throw the snake lure around out here today for some smallmouth bass. I've got the 8-inch Savage Gear 3D snake tied on. So this lake has some super clear water. It's got about 15 feet of visibility. So I decided on this lure because, well, for one, it's got a super unique and realistic action. It just kind of slithers along like a snake. And it doesn't make a whole lot of commotion either, which is a good thing because something too noisy might spook those fish in this clear water. So we'll see if we can hook into some smallies out here today with that Savage Gear snake. There's one on the snake. Oh yeah, that's a nice smallie too. Come on over here, you. I saw a couple of them just sitting there looking at that lure when I paused it. As soon as I gave it a little twitch, this guy came up and grabbed it. Oh, that is a nice smallie too. Right, first one of the day on the snake lure. I'll try to get my hooks out of this guy. I'm gonna get a measure on that one. Man, that is a beauty of a smallmouth. About 17 and a half. Super, super thick fish though. Well, that did not take long at all. Oh, look, he's got a buddy with him there, too. Oh, my snake is still caught in my net here. Let's see if we can get the second one there on my wacky worm. Uh-oh, I had a little one. Going right for it, too, though. Oh, darn it. Got the little one chasing it. All right, back to the snake. Something just snatched something off the surface, right up off the shore up there. Looked like uh, that could have been a turtle jumping in off the log, I guess. That's probably what that was. I don't know. I'm still going to throw my snake over there. Just to be sure. Look at that thing just slither along. Hearing bait jumping up there. There we go. Just waiting for something to jump up out of those logs. Oh, it's a largemouth. 
I didn't even know there were largemouth in this lake. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Look at that. Man, what a beauty of a fish. Nice dark stripe on that guy. Came up and hammered the snake. Thought I heard something go splash up here. Initially, I just put it off as it was a turtle jumping off that log, but it might have been that bass that I just caught. Got another little piece of structure right over here. There we go. Look at that. Two casts in a row. Not even going to put my net away. Uh-oh, you get out of there. Get out of that stuff. Oh, it's another largemouth. Wow. Look at this one, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> two casts in a row. Two absolute tank largemouth bass. Well, I guess no bass can resist the snake. <laughs> I'm going to toss that guy in my net for a second, get my scale out and get a quick weight on that one. All right, I've got my scale zeroed out. I don't know if that even shows up. It never really seems to show up with my polarized lens. Toss this guy on and get a quick weight. Three fourteen. What did I say? It was pushing four. Pretty close. Jeez, what a beautiful fish. Not a whole lot of action out here the last couple hours. I had really high hopes after I caught that nice smallie probably the third cast of the day and then back to back really nice large mouth about a half hour later since then it has been dead out here i don't know i just haven't even really seen any fish about the last half of the way i've been working my way along the shoreline so i don't know if those fish just quit biting and moved out deeper or if they're all just up in that first part of the lake where I started out. So I do think I'm gonna cross over to the other shoreline over there and start working my way back up there. At least I know where one school was hanging out up there. If nothing else, I'll hopefully catch one with a wacky worm. <laughs> Rather get him on the snake though. The top water is just so much more exciting. It's about 4 p.m. right now too, so I'm sure it'll take an hour or two to fish my way back up there. Maybe those fish will be in their evening feeding mood by then. Man, this just looks super nice in here though. There's gotta be something up here. I don't know, I might try tossing my wacky worm off this point a few casts. Just to see if I can see what it feels like to have a fish at the end of my line again. That was a nice thump on the wacky worm. It's the first fish I've caught on the wacky worm today. Oh, there's a few of them with them too. Yeah, these fish have been a little bit picky. If I let them see me before I get my lure in their mouth, 
I've had zero luck getting them to bite, so making those long casts has really been key. Nice thick smolly on the wacky worm. Yeah, I figured I'd give the snake a little break. It's about 4.30 p.m. right now. I'll maybe toss the worm around for an hour or two and hopefully by then these fish are a little bit more willing to bite and I can get another fish or two on that snake lure. You know, there's at least a few more smallies over here. I know those ones that just saw me, they probably won't bite. But this whole stretch of shoreline along this island here looks pretty fishy. Oh yeah, there's still a couple more smallies. There's a nice one right down there. Yeah, these fish are just smart in this clear water. Look, they got two nice ones and a little one right next to me. Let's see if either of them will go for that worm. I suppose the boat noise probably doesn't help. Yeah, that one, he's just like sitting down there looking at me like, nice try, buddy. See if a big one pops out if I toss that worm over there. There's just a little guy. There we go. Oh, that's a decent one. Geez, I'm surprised I was able to get my hooks into that one. I saw him before he ate it. Okay. I am still not giving up hope on the snake lure, but Seems like the bite is shut down for the most part where I gotta toss that wacky worm in front of about a dozen of these guys to find one of them willing to bite. Yeah, it's been a tough bite out here today. I don't think I've ever had as many fish turn down the wacky worm as I've had today. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a goal to get one more fish on the snake. I'll finish the day off with the old snake lure. Hopefully. One of those fish there did take a swipe at the snake. Uh. 
there's one on the snake. Oh yeah. I threw that lure right on top of that fish. You stay down. I tossed it right out in front of that dock there and that fish jumped all over it. Wow. Well, all the big fish today have been on that snake lure. Seems like the top water is really what gets the attention of those bigger fish. Look at that beast of a smallie. I just can't believe how fat every one of these fish is out here. All right, I was hoping I could finish the night off with at least one more on the snake. I don't know, maybe that topwater bite is just going to get going now. Well, since that last fish absolutely blasted that snake, I'll probably just stick with that lure the rest of the night now. Unless I see a big smallie chase it and not bite it. Then I'll still throw the wacky worm, but... For just covering water on my way back, I think I'll stick with the snake. Yeah, that's a good call, I think. Well, we had a little lull in the action late afternoon, early evening, but sure seems like it's picking up again now. Jeez, look at that little chunk of a smallmouth. Absolutely slammed that snake. All right, new pattern, docks and boat lifts, I guess. <laughs> Look at the belly on that fish. Just crazy how thick they are. I mean, it's almost as wide as he is tall. <laughs> All right, you guys, I've made it back to where I started from. It's about that time for me to get my gear loaded up and hit the road. What an awesome day it's been out here though. It's always fun to come try a new lake, especially when you hook into some nice fish. I did have to put in a little bit of work and cover some water for that handful of bites today, but we were rewarded with a half dozen really nice bass. Most of them on the snake lure. I did have to switch over to the wacky worm for a couple hours when the bite slowed down, but honestly I didn't have a whole lot more luck getting them to bite that either. <laughs> Yeah, most of the action and all the bigger fish were on that snake lure today. So that's always a fun way to catch some smallies, getting them on top. I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>